Hello everyone, and welcome to Shogo's Podcast. So today guys, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the reason why I have all my businesses, or basically I started a business that is related to Japanese traditional culture. So I think I might have talked about this uh, briefly in about, about this in a different topic when I talked about a different topic before, but today I'd like to just focus on this one topic and explain this to you guys. Um, right now, my second daughter is actually roaming around the room where I'm recording this. I'm very afraid that she might be pulling the cord or something. Uh, and hopefully nothing will happen. If you hear her very close, she is standing right next to me, so that is the reason why. But anyways, um, to make a long story short, the reason why I started doing businesses, sorry, she just dropped a toy, related to Japanese traditional culture is not just because I love it. One of the reasons why I do it is because I simply do love it. That's really important. I really think that you can only do something seriously if you really want to do it from the deepest part of your heart, right? So that's really important. But the main reason it wasn't that. The main reason was when I started my company, when I started my business, I was really focused on one concept or one rule, actually. And it is, I want to start a business that will not be defeated by bigger companies, by huge companies, you know, bigger companies, or people who are younger than me, who have more energy, who have more stamina than me. And also, I didn't want to be defeated by any AI or any of these IT technologies too. Because I knew that if I chose a business that would eventually be defeated or be overcame by any of these three, by bigger, bigger uh, companies or younger people or AI, I knew that it won't, my future won't be that stable. Yeah. So not just because I love traditional culture, but I found out that at, that the traditional culture related businesses will all be actually not be defeated by these three because no matter how much money you have, you can't buy the skills, right? Basically, you can't become something, something sensei. You know, you can't just buy a 7th or 8th don out of martial art, for example. You can't buy the experience, no matter how much money you have. And you can't become, you know, you can't just, uh, you know, replace yourself with that person who has a lot of students or have a lot of experience in uh, studying or teaching and stuff like that, right? And also the younger generations, younger people who have more energy, who have more stamina, won't be able to beat you either. Because in the world of traditional culture, in any field, uh, around the world too, not just Japan, but the more you earn experience, the more you get older, the more, what should I say, the more respect you'll be able to get. Yeah. Of course, not just getting older is not obviously not a good thing, but um, the older you get, the more um, convincing you will become. I mean, right now for my channel, there's a lot of people who, uh, who are enjoying my content. I'm really grateful for that. But in terms of specific traditional culture, I'm pretty sure everyone will love to listen to more experienced uh, people in their 50s, 50s, 60s, 40, 50s, 60s opinions or experiences about that field. So I'm definitely not qualified for it yet, right? And I really simply don't have the experience yet either. So I think that's really, really important that um, the younger generations that don't eventually, you know, uh, take over your business. Like, for example, like, I don't know, let's say TikTok, guys. Let's say TikTok, there are those, uh, you know, those uh, teenagers who wear, you know, um, those bikinis or whatever it is, you know, have a lot of skin exposure and they just dance while they shake their bodies and everything. And they get a lot of views and they think they're popular, right? That is like one of the um, representative things that will eventually be taken away by the younger generations because you are going to get older and older, right? You should, it's really difficult to find such a business, but the more you get older, the worse you get, or the less quality there is, is a business that doesn't last that long. And I think those kind of people will eventually realize that they aren't young anymore and the newer, younger generations are taking away your audience. And yeah, you really have to convert your business and the ways you do things in order to survive. That would absolutely happen, right? But traditional culture, that doesn't happen because the adult adults or people who are older, have more experience, have higher ranks or license and such will always have um, more influence, you know? So I think that is really important too. And number three, again, AI. AI can't take over, you know, art, right? You know, you, I mean, there there might be something like that, like a AI musical or an AI ballet dance or, you know, an um, orchestra or whatever it is, or Oprah, whatever. But um, there might be something that 
someone that might create that. Or maybe humans could learn from what the AI has like um, um, analyzed, for example. But still, we want to watch people doing it, right? Because if it's art and if it's done by machines, that's not art anymore, right? I know this will definitely, there's going to be a lot of different new technology. You know, what was that again? Guys, you do you guys know about the uh, if you write down the description in on um, sentences, they'll r automatically make the the pictures for you. It's becoming really popular in Japan too. But there's the this AI you know application I think that does it for you. But in the end, I mean, of course you could use that to kind of for example copy. Uh, you use the uh, the AI application to generalize uh, generate a picture for you, and you could, for example, use that as a one of your ideas for your pictures that you draw. But the picture that you draw should be drawn by you, right? So, traditional culture, you you could have a robot do the Iaido kata for you, but like that, what good is that going to be doing, right? <laughs> yeah. So I think that the traditional cultures on um, will be able to beat. Well, I need to continue proving this through my own success, but I personally believe at this point at least, please give me your opinions about this, but at least I believe that the uh, traditional culture will be able to beat these three things, you know? So that is exactly the reason why I do this. And the reason why I want to talk about this topic in the first place today is because there's a lot of people recently who tell me in the DMs and comments and such, who say like, I want to, for example, train in traditional culture or um, study uh, craftsmanship in Japan. And a lot of people ask me is there do you think there's a future because you talk often talk about Japan, Japan itself is on um, weakening and declining do you think it'll be worth me studying it or I'm um, you know pursuing that path well first of all I always tell them that's really up to you if you can put enough passion into it because if you can't put passion into whatever you're doing there's no way you can win regardless of what you're doing right yeah but if you can put passion into the things you're doing it's really i really personally believe that you can win especially because there's going to be less and less people doing it it means it's going to become more and more rare right but there will always be people who are interested in traditional culture in any, any anywhere around the world so i think there is a very high chance here for anyone overseas too i think the only requirement that would be really important is that you can speak a certain speak certain level of japanese because the people who are going to be teaching you like your masters will obviously be Japanese who mostly don't speak any other languages so especially even if they could speak a little bit of English I'm pretty sure the important essence of their skills must be taught in their mother tongue so I think the passion towards or your love towards the art and also on um, a certain level of Japanese will be required to become an apprentice but if you really do want to pursue that in your life and you know create content based on that I think there is a lot of chances a lot of things that you could do in the future so I wanted to say in this podcast this is exactly the reason why I do it and this is exactly the reason why I can recommend it to other people too. So then everyone, as I always say, the ultimate goal of my life is to make all Japan lovers' dreams come true. So I know there's a lot of people studying Japanese, willing to come to Japan to study, travel, or work, or even train our traditional culture and such. However, I am very afraid that Japan will not be able to make everyone's dreams come true in the future because we're facing a lot of social problems, we are losing our traditional culture, and the younger generations who are supposed to be carrying on the good things about Japan are dying because of all the social issues being shoved against them. So I really want to dedicate my life trying to make Japan a better place. I want to try to solve the social problems, preserve and evolve traditional culture, and also help out the younger generations so they can have a brighter future. And to do this right now, the nearest goals I have is to raise money on my Ko-fi page, which is like a Patreon page or donation platform, to buy my very first real bamboo shakuhachi so I can do more collaboration videos with Kamina Daisuke-san, the very famous shakuhachi player from Wagaki Band to spread the uh, wonderful world of traditional music in Japan, and also the limited edition merchandise that's going to be limited until the end of 2023 are sold on my Suzuki page, my merchandise page, so I hope you can check out these pages for me. Okay guys, thank you so much, and again, please, please feel free to give me your opinions on my thoughts, and yeah, it'd be great if we can share our opinions. Thank you so much guys, bye-bye.